Hi guys, I've just come back from Marks and Spencers. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. Um, I do unboxings, I do shopping hauls, I do um, a little bit of decorating, I do lots of things. Um, so if you like that kind of thing then please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. Now, if you remember my last M&S haul, I bought that navy linen shift dress. I love it ladies, I love it. I've already worn it a couple of times since that video. That's how much I love it. So I went back and I bought the one that my mother has. I thought, to make, because it's the only other colour, um, we're going to have to make sure and coordinate that we're not wearing it on the same day because that would look really bizarre. Although she would look good because she's a skinny mini. But this is the one I'm talking about. So it's a bit creased, forgive. So it's a linen. It's this pretty sort of chambray blue. It's softer. There's some mix in this. The other one feels like pure linen. There's bits of stiff. This one's got a softer feel to it. Again, it has the pockets, whoops a daisy, the pockets on the front. Of course, I'll be trying it on for you. Um, and this one was £27.50. Now, as I say, my mum has it. I bought it for her last year. She wouldn't buy it. My mum's so funny. She's so, so funny. She was like, £27.50. So <laughs> I bought it and gifted it to her. And it has washed and worn fabulously she always looks great in it i've been envious really bought the navy one discovered just how great i feel in it i thought poo to it i'm buying it again along with all the other stores a lot of the summer things are coming in now and that's where my brain is going so i picked up this which could be a complete disaster it is a navy t-shirt dress plain it's high necked which i'd prefer it not to be but they seem to all be high necked but what I liked about it is it's quite long. It's got splits on the sides. It doesn't have a waist or anything like that, but it does have pockets. And I was just thinking it's a great, you know, wandering around the house doing bits and pieces dress. It could look terrible because it may cling to everything. Um, but this was 1950 and I felt it was worth a try before I rule them out because they had them in so many colors and patterns. And until I've tried one on, well, I can't know that they don't fit me, can I? Next up was this. Look at this colour. Oh, it's a cotton maxi dress. OK, I think it's intended to be like a beach cover up, but I would wear it as a dress, frankly, with a jacket over the top. It's got a straight front. It's got these little holes. Is it? I think they call it ladder stitching or something. Um, spaghetti straps, not my favourite, as you know. It has some elastication on the back, a bit of smocking but not too much it's long it has pockets and it has a tear at the bottom but look at that color oh i think it could look great um and this one cost me 29.50 so it's gonna have to look great for 29.50 it has to look amazeballs I picked up a swimsuit, which I, I don't think I'm going to show you <laughs> on camera, but I'm going to show you it on the hanger and I'll let you know how it fits. I thought this looked lovely. What I like about it is that it's black and the pattern is on the sides. So in theory, it should be quite slimming. Um, it has cup support inside. I liked the detailing on the straps. I like these gold rings. What I didn't realise when I picked it up, and I've since realised, so I, I, mm, I may not like it. It has, can you see, oh, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you this, am I? Let me put it around my neck. It's got lacing on the back. So it really depends on how low does that go. Don't mind a bit of lacing. I mean, it'll give it a funny tan, won't it? But it's just got to not come so low that I'm self-conscious about, you know, my berm or anything like that. And I know a lot of women's swimmers are very saucy at the minute. But it's just plain black on the back. As I say, <laughs> I don't think I'll try it on for you. Um, unless I look in the mirror and think, do you know what, that's not too bad. Then I might just give you a quick, well, hey. But probably not. But I just thought it was lovely. Um, and this one was 29 50 Last but not least, I picked up another pair of chinos. These are probably redundant now because I got the £10 ones in my next haul. 
so I probably don't need these but I did like the look of them a lot these have navy and white stripes oh it's making making the screen on here go flicker flicker I think it's because of the, the pattern that it is um they are lovely quality they have mock pockets whoops whoa mock pockets on the back um these are 1950 which is a good price you know you can see why i bought another pair but in a different color but after getting some for 10 pounds do i really need these although these are blue and they are green i don't know Ugh. anyway <laughs> that was it for marks and spencers i'm going to try them on and show you and as always please please help me out and give me some advice okay <laughs> oh, here we go I thought I'd start with the one that I was most doubtful about, which is this navy t-shirt dress. It actually fits really nicely. I'm not sure about this high neck, it's very plain, although I could put jewellery on and break it up. Love the fact that it has pockets, really love the fact that it has pockets, but I think that those pockets are puckering and sort of sticking out at an odd place on me. I don't know if I'm imagining it, help me out, but I feel like they're adding here which pockets generally don't do i like the split in the side higher than you know than some things but not indecent both sides <laughs> and i'll turn around and give you a view of the back i like the fact that it's loose it's good i mean it is clinging to the bum because i've got knickers on um i just i don't know you know this is one of these where i have absolutely no idea whether this looks flattering or it doesn't i mean you could put a belt on with it and change the look of it quite a, you know zhuzh it up quite a bit and as i say gold jewelry probably make it look completely different this is one of those things you'd have to style out but i do like it i mean this is just oh this is no effort dressing absolute no effort dressing for 1950 it's not bad i don't think and as i say they have them in lots of colors so i'm gonna to have to look back at the film i might go and grab a necklace and a belt one second. so first of all with just one simple golden tortoiseshell necklace this is from a luxury diva box oh, i miss my luxury diva box um but i wanted to see what that looked like and then i've picked up just this belt which again has tortoiseshell so i thought it might work i have no idea and as usual because of my eyesight <laughs> i can't really see myself as you're seeing me i have to watch the video back to get the view oh, i don't even know if i'm putting this at the right height but let's just slap it on a minute and just give it a pocket still work pocket still works so i don't know I don't, <laughs> I don't know what this has done to it it may have made it worse um but i wanted to see all the the options on film um to see whether it worked you know i'm still in love with the color of this guys but i don't think i actually like it that much on me for 29.50 i want to put that out there if it was 20 pound i would probably feel different but for 29.50 it does have pockets which i love of course it is creased to heck it's one of those fabrics that just you know all the, the minute you wear it you're going to be creased and i'm not overly keen on that <laughs> is anybody <laughs> you know what i mean it's a bit close on the bosoms come forward a bit and i think that's because of the ruching on the back is sort of pulling it and it's making it very and it's sort of can you see it's almost see-through i have a white bra on it's it's not doing anything for my tartars um which i'm a bit gutted about because i flipping love the color i think this color looks great on me with my hair color and so on but i really don't think it's a dress for me now saying that smaller busted ladies pear shapes i'm an apple i'm an apple pear shapes with a smaller bazoom and you know, bigger bum what an amazing dress this would be for you because you wouldn't have this issue of the straining. There'd be a lot more room up here, but there is more than enough skirt for a bigger bottom. 
which I always wish I had. But there's more than enough room for a bigger bottom, but not so much room that you'd be drowning in it. I think this also comes in another colour, but I couldn't tell you what the colour was. So it's not right for me, but I do think, I'm going to come in again, I do think this is such a pretty, pretty dress. Um, I love this, this ladder work here. And again, with a little light jacket or a shirt over the top, fabulous, absolutely fabulous, but not kind to my particular shape. In fact, it's, I can feel it sort of pushing, <laughs> pushing my boobs down. So I don't want that in a dress, but pear shapes, and of course skinnies can wear anything, but pear shaped sisters, this is a great summer dress. <laughs> now here's a conundrum for you ladies. This is exactly the same dress as the navy one, and yet it does not fit as well. I can't quite believe it. After sort of jonesing after it, it just isn't right for me. It is much clingier. So whatever the, 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 the mix is that's in there with the linen, it is much clingier, and it's even sort of clinging. You can see with my knickers are, and then there's a bit of, sort of plump stomach, and then the boobs. Um, it's just not working. The navy one, I adore. But this one, this is back view. This one is not doing it for me. And I, I'm, sh I'm shocked. I am shocked. Because it's exactly the same style dress. Exactly the same. They cut everything. But the fabric is different. And I can only think that it's the fabric that has made this fits so poorly on me so my mother will be delighted <laughs> because we won't be wearing the same thing and i won't have to feel embarrassed about the fact that i've bought you know bought the same thing but it just doesn't work on me can you see how it's clinging ladies look at that i mean i am egging it up a bit for the camera but if you think about it when we're living our lives and we're doing things and we're you know we do put our bodies in some damn funny positions and that is you just know that you'll be going, ha, 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 and someone will take a picture, and all you will see is that bit of you. You never see the fact that you were laughing so much at some joke or something. What you see, I'm sure you're like me, are the worst bits. So this doesn't work for me, and I'm absolutely, well, flabbergasted. <laughs> so last but not least are the chinos. Which as I say, I think I'm probably going to take back anyway, because I do, I have bought the other pair for £10. They are very nice though. I really like this navy stripe effect. They fit beautifully, a really good fit over the bum. They've got the looseness that a chino needs without being hugely loose. Um, they are very comfortable. I, I think I think it's one of the things that Marxist does well is your classic, your chino. Your, you know, you can go there and you're pretty safe. Once you know what size you are, you're pretty safe to buy all of them. So I really do like them, but I just now don't really need them. Uh, these were bought before <laughs> the next ones came. So, um, yeah, I feel a bit guilty about that. But as I say, I don't need them, so I'm not going to keep them. But they're fab, and they're only 19.50, which I think is great. So there we go. That was my Marxies haul. Now I have to tell you, ladies, I struggled into the swimsuit because I wanted to tell you, and I thought if it's modest enough, I'll show it to you. If it isn't, I won't. Well, let me tell you, it wasn't. I think it would be on other women, but that particular swimsuit is not for someone of my uh, bodacious proportions, shall we say? Even though I bought it big. It did not have enough support for the chest. Um, it was, if anything, it was sort of pressing them down. You know how some swimsuits do that? And then when you turn sideways, there was all this, you know, it was not a good look. So I couldn't have shown it to you even if I'd wanted to, and I won't be keeping it. I need something, you know, with scaffolding built in to keep everything contained. Especially, you know, if you think about it, we might actually get to the beach and be dipping in water and, yeah, you don't want to be thinking, oh, is my boob still in there? Oh, is my boob still in there? Or even worse, maybe it would have kept the boobs in, but kept them looking, well, like spaniels ears. Mm, not a good look. So this Marks and Spencer's haul, I'm keeping nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only thing I would have kept were the chinos. If I didn't already, you know, if I hadn't already found some for half the price, I like just as much. 
I'm so shocked at the dresses. I thought they were shoe-ins and they weren't. So there we go. You win some, you lose some. My last Marxist haul, I loved the flipping lot. But this time, no, no, not right for me, but right for other people. I mean, that green dress, ah, oh, my eldest daughter, she is um, pear shape. So she has a smaller chest, not as broad in the beam, do you know what I mean? But she has an arse. I shouldn't say that, should I? She has a big bottom. She would rock that dress. And I know a lot of my sisters on here are pear-shaped and would rock that dress. So that's it. That's me for the day. Um, I'm always trying to organise myself so I can do more than one in a day, but I don't manage to pull it off very often. So <laughs> um, it's quarter past one and I have to be in to babysit at quarter to two so I'm not going to start anything else right now <laughs> but I hope you're all happy and well uh, I hope the weather is treating you well and I hope that um yeah I just hope you're doing well how's that okay <laughs> bye guys